welcome back to my channel it's Nikki here so today I am doing this festival inspired makeup look and I've also towards the end just chucked in a really cheeky festival hairstyle for you seeing as I do have a sort of new sort of hair color and hair look let me know what you guys think of it down below because I was a little bit unsure to start off with but I think I'm getting really used to it and I feel like it is really spring summer Anyway, I don't want to ramble, I just wanted to let you know that festival season is my favourite time of year, so I hope you guys are really going to enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see it, then just carry on watching. It's recording. Hey guys, so for this makeup tutorial, we are going to start off with a really nice, clean, fresh, bare face and then I'm going to moisturise my skin with the Eucerin Replenishing Face Cream. I really like this um, cream, it's really hydrating. I'm also going to hydrate my lips a little bit with some Vaseline and then I'm going to prime my skin using my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer all over and you just want to buff that into the skin really nicely. I'll also be using a little bit of my La Roche-Posay Hydrophase Eye Cream just underneath the eyes just to get them ready for concealer really nice and hydrated. So for that glow to the skin, I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Illuminator in Born to Glow. I feel like this is a dupe for the NARS Orgasm Liquid Highlighter. I really like it because it's a really nice sheer consistency and it's not glittery and it just gives you a really nice glow. Then, surprise, surprise, I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation in C5 and I'm going to use this in conjunction with my MAC 170 brush which is quite dense. So I just pop that onto the brush and then I dab this onto the skin from the center outwards, buffing it outwards and I feel like this is how I get more of a natural feel to my foundation. And then I'm just going to use the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Anopurna just around the outskirts of my skin where I do suffer from a little bit more darker pigmentation. I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Orange. And this is just going to kind of like get rid of that dark pigmentation. I'm sure you guys have seen tons on color correcting now. So I just use that 170 brush again and dab that product in. It's just going to neutralize my darker pigmentation. Then we will be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and NC35. I mix the two. I love this concealer because it's just such good cover and I feel like I really need it underneath my eyes. And you can see how good the cover is here if you just compare it to the other eye. And then I just take the excess just around my mouth area because I do have a little bit of dark pigmentation there. Now to stop it from looking cakey because you guys always say this to me. I am going to spray my Beauty Blender with Fix Plus and dab it all over this skin and then I'm going to highlight with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger, just doing an upside down triangle underneath my eyes. I also take it on the high points of my face, that would be the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin area and then just using that damp Beauty Blender again, I'm just going to blend this out. This is going to provide some dimension to my face. Then I'll just be setting everything with my MAC Mineralize Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I really like this powder because I don't feel like it's cakey, it's not powdery or dusty looking, it's got a really nice glow to it still, so I'm just popping that on my T-zone and underneath my eyes, and then I'll be using the infamous MAC Fix Plus and literally dousing myself in this, like I love this stuff. And that is it guys, that is the skin done. Now, moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So I'm just going to use a spoolie part first, just to brush through my brows. And then I'm going to be using the actual product. And I'm literally just filling in any gaps that I see, kind of just like a colouring book. And then just going back in with the spoolie to make them look a little bit more natural. I really like the colour of this stuff. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm using the Maybelline um, Colour 24 Hour Tattoo in Creme de Nude just to prime my lids and popping this all over my lids and then just taking this over with a beauty blender just to kind of blend it all and then I'll be using the NYX eyeshadow, this is a matte eyeshadow in Dance the Tides and the MAC 222 brush. I'm just going to be popping a little bit onto the tip of that brush and popping it just kind of above the crease, kind of in the crease and a little bit above it, taking it all the way in and then I'm also going to be using my 224 brush by MAC and buffing this all out to get it really nicely airbrushed. Now I'll be using my Kiko Infinity Sparkle Eyeshadow in the shade 402, just wet your brush a little bit and use it because it is quite glittery. I really really love this product, 
and you guys it was like £2.80 it's amazing now just to add a little bit more glitter I'm going to be using this mineralized duo eyeshadow by MAC in the shade spice metal and I'm going to pop it over the top just for that added glitter then I go back into my NYX Dance the Tides eyeshadow and I want to buff all this out and make sure that I don't kind of lose my crease color and the warmth there and I'll take this color just on my lower lash line as well now I'll be using my Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner in the shade nude and just popping that into my waterline just to kind of open my eyes a little bit and make them a little bit brighter and then I'll be using the NYX eyeshadow in lap dance and this is also a matte eyeshadow just to pop this underneath my brow bone to give me a little bit of a highlight but nothing too crazy I'll, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills that glow glow kit and mixing sunburst and bubbly I believe now this is just sunburst in my inner tear duct and then I'll be using a little bit of bubbly just on my brow bone. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills, like I love it so much. I'll be using my NYC liquid liner in black and I'll be giving myself a really nice flick. It's not too big, it's not too small. I guess it's just like an average flick, but you wanna make it really sharp. Then I'll be using my Huda Beauty lashes in scarlet. I swear these are a little bit bigger than Iconic, so I'm popping them on. And then be using my mascara, this could be any mascara, just to kind of blend the lashes and pop a little bit of mascara onto your lower lashes as well. Then for the festival inspired bit, we're going to be using some bindis and some eyelash glue. And I'm popping this just over my eyebrows all the way down. I'm using some tweezers because it's a little bit handier. And they should look a little something like this when they're done. I think they look really, really pretty. And that is it guys, that was the eyes done. So moving on to the face, I'm going to be using my gosh Lumi Drops and this is in the shade Bronze. I'm going to be popping this all over the cheeks and it gives you this really nice sheer glow. So using my Benefits High Beam Liquid Illuminator, I love this stuff. This stuff gives me life. You just want to pop it on the high points of your face and then just use a damp beauty blender and just blend it all out and it leaves you with a really nice sheer finish. Then I'm going to be using my NYX bronzer. I went a little bit too cray with this bronzer. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Freedom Pro Blush Palette using this gold shade in it. Just popping it on all the high points of the face. And then moving on to the lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. I love this stuff because it dries completely matte. Then I'm going to mix that with the Bourjois in number 10. And this is a little bit more pink to add a little bit of colour to the lips. And then just to highlight the lips a little bit, I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie in Lace Detail. And then just dabbing that colour out with my finger. And I really like the end result of this lip colour. Tell me what you guys think down below. I'll be finishing off with a little bit of Fix Plus. And that is it, guys. That is the makeup done. Now moving on to my hair, you might have noticed something just a little bit different. I do wear hair extensions and they are by Miss Lula that are 100% human hair. I'll leave the link for them down below because I love this company. The hair is such good quality. When, I, when it arrived, it was dark brown so it matched my hair perfectly. Like you can see here, it just matches my roots really nice. But then I decided I wanted to get my hair dyed. So I was a little bit worried. I got in contact with them and they told me that it would take the dye really well. So I got a caramel brown balayage done to my hair. The extensions were first fitted in like this. So I get them sewn into my hair and I believe I get about five or six tracks. When I got them put in... I then got them dyed and they took so well to dye and this was the end result. So to get on to the hair tutorial, I'm just going to curl my hair using um, any curling tongue that you have. You just want to kind of give it some movement. I also scrunch the hair a little bit when I do curl it. I don't know why, I feel like it just helps it stay a little bit longer. So you want to make sure that you are curling away from your face. I guess that is the only thing that you guys really need to remember. So when it's curled, it'll look something a little like this. And then you just want to put some hairspray in it because you want this hairstyle to last all the way through your music festival. And I'll be using my fingers just to kind of soften them curls because I don't really like the look of tight, tight curls. And this is what it will look like once you've done that. And then you just want to give it another good spritz of hairspray. Now for that festival inspired look, I'm going to be using these metal clips that I purchased and all you want to do is open them up and clip them onto your hair. You can also kind of just bring them from the bottom upwards. You just kind of want to twist them in place and they will stay. So you want to put them wherever you want. I put them everywhere because I was going ham on the metal clips and then I found this. So I just clipped it in. I think it was an accessory that broke. So I clipped that into 
anything goes and then I wanted to add a really nice sticker and I feel like this went really well it's really heavy but I just felt it was perfect for like a music festival or any festival that you may be going to and that is it guys that is my whole makeup and hair tutorial I hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below. Yeah.